with? Yeah, go ahead. Talk. We're all very excited awaiting the arrival of Lori. We don't know what will happen. Hopefully everything will go as planned and your dad will not give it away at the last minute out of sheer pressure and stress. Okay, let's turn the tables and see what's going on in the world of cameras. <laughs> in life to celebrate, and great friends and family to celebrate those moments with. So thanks to all of you for coming and making one more of those moments possible. Now, I could not have pulled off a caper like this without some very serious high-level assistance. I know. So I would just like to give a quick thanks to my short list of unindicted co-conspirators. Uh, first and foremost, Debbie and her crew at Hopple Popple, who's over here in the corner. She makes this kind of stuff look easy, and with her on the case, it really is easy. Uh, next are three terrific kids and Gail. We're here someplace. You've, you've really been spectacular in the way you've helped me put this together. I just gotta say, all that experience of doing stuff behind our backs really paid off. <laughs> uh, Steve Singer, you know Steve's here someplace. Steve, you were a huge help with the Jimmy Fun Ruse, that was what we used to get Lori here tonight. And Cheryl and Frank, thanks a million for a million little things and creative strategies at every stage of this long process. But the biggest shout out has to go to Mindy and Peter for all they've done on this since day one. You two. You've done everything I've asked of you since I cooked this scheme up two years ago. <laughs> no, no kidding. And I know you've changed your plans a bunch of times to make this day work. And there's a phrase that gets used too often, but it really applies here. I truly could not have done this without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And finally, all of you, you've been fantastic keeping this quiet since the invitations went out early last month. After this successful experience, you may all add the phrase, can keep a secret to your resumes. <laughs> and now to the birthday girl, my wife, my partner, my darling. You may have noticed some changes in me over the past month or two. <laughs> or perhaps I was a little distant, a little distracted, something not quite right, but you just couldn't put your picture of your finger on it. Well, as Elliot Spitzer recently told his wife, <laughs> there's a little something I've been keeping from you. And, and like Elliot, neither one of us are going to be the first Jewish president of the United States. Um, Lori, you do so much for us and our family, for all of your friends, for the community. So here's a little way of saying thanks for everything. Now it's your turn in the spotlight. This is your night to kick back and cut loose. And let me just wrap this up with a toast to my lovely wife, who no one believes could be 50 years old. <laughs> right. Honey, you just keep getting better in every way as time goes on. I love you, and I hope tonight is as much fun for you as we all planned it to be. Happy birthday. <laughs>